I just fell into a bottomless pit. <laughs> Grace, so good to have you back. I guess we should officially start this podcast, uh, right? Are we starting? I don't know. Is I will we'll, we'll have we'll chop someone will chop something. Okay. It'll happen. There'll be something Great. in there. Great. Should it's, I do an official intro? We don't need we're past that. Uh, Last time you were here yes. was 2003 and you <laughs> told me here's what I'm going to do. And yeah. you said and I I said parallel tracks and you said yes. And this was with regards to a television show as well as internets. Yeah. Because you had this big old, you had these big ideas back then uh, about how they don't have to be mutually exclusive. They can live together in perfect harmony where animated bluebirds land on toothbrushes in the morning as you as you double fist with <laughs> toothbrushes. I don't know. How do you know I brush my teeth in the morning? You just did this. And oh, I don't know yeah. if is that, is no, that, that for was, efficiency? This was birds. Oh, you were baby birding. I was birds. This That's, is um, how, but also how I do toothbrushes. Cool. I don't know where my mouth it's is. It's a red tube so maneuver. <laughs> I'd be careful with that. Yeah, I have to wake up very early to get myself ready in the morning. But you said, mm-hmm. I want, and you were very clear about it. Like, I want to do the TV thing, but I want to do it my way. And it's like, you oh. said the same way. What's her face? Uh, uh, Tina Fey yeah. did Thirty Rock, and it was like a, a, a series inspired by life. You said you were going to do that, but for your own world and make that happen. Wow, former me was so prolific. And here's the thing: <laughs> I put in a call to Bob Comcast and uh-huh. said, "This woman needs a thing. You got to get her a thing on one of your things. He has a lot of things, a lot of networks, a right. lot of juice, as they say in the industry." Yes. And I think he might have. I'm not saying that that call was the catalyst. But last I heard, you might have a thing coming out on E. I might have a thing coming out on E. Yeah, I just recently shot- hold for applause. Woo! You, okay, or you can you can add to the applause. That's fine. I'm applauding it too. <laughs> That's just, great! Like, Congrats! Thank you. It's not totally official, and I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about. It, but I've been talking about it. Well, what's the? So. <laughs> well, you were. Did they send you to Nat P? Yeah. They, well, E didn't. Um, oh. I got sent to Nat P. Uh, per, Nat P reached out to me. Uh, saying that they just wanted to have like a YouTube presence there. So they asked me to speak on a panel with Brian Robbins, who owns Awesomeness TV. Um, and a guy named Jordan Levin ended up moderating our panel, who works with Generate, I believe. Lots of business A whole companies. lot of incubation yeah. happening. They got bought up by Alloy and Defy or something like that. I, Jordan, if you're listening, I listened to you when you told me about <laughs> you. Uh, yeah, I went to Nat P. But okay, yeah. so that was not for the E. I thought that was no. for the E show. No, the E show is still getting worked out contractually and legally and all that. Blah 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 blah. But Can yeah, you talk about the concept and the things. The concept and is yeah, the concept is bringing the internet to TV. Um, I really, I, I want to have a show, but I want to. Um, and it's funny because Hannah, who was on your podcast before, has this really great quote that she uses when she describes working with other media but still remaining true to the internet and it's like dance with the one that brought you and so right isn't that so uh, that's adorable isn't it sweet because i normally like, ditch whoever i brought to the prom right away and try yeah. to go for the head cheerleader yeah i ditch my dad who brought me to the prom and then i'm like hey what's <laughs> going on um so dance with the one that brought you so i i want to do tv but TV gets a negative stigma from a lot of YouTubers because it's like, oh, no, we have control on this platform. You lose all the Plus, my parents don't let me watch it when they're busy watching their shows. Exactly. (laughs) So it's it's getting figured out. Um, It's going to be loose and fun and silly and have the same tone that It's Grace has that I have, that it's irreverent and awkward and hopefully kind of merges this, like, traditional media and new media thing that's happening. And how that happens is still getting figured out. But I also... Is it a scripted thing then, or is it no? It's kind of this... Um, I don't want to call it a talk show, because it's not really a talk show, but that's the only real like label that people understand. Mm-hmm. It's like this variety talk show-esque thing that um, we're also experimenting with a dual watching experience, where there are things happening online... Um, while the show is happening to kind of create uh, a reason to watch it when it airs. 